are pleased to be joining Yahoo Sports by Ole Miss quarterback Matt Corral. And Matt is joining us thanks to Panini America. We're going to ask him about that sponsorship in just a little bit. But Matt, we got to go back to the Sugar Bowl. Last time we saw you, you went out there as a game. Maybe people didn't think you were going to play. You decided to, and you got injured in the game. Can you take us back to when you came back onto the field to rejoin your teammates? You weren't able to play. It was an emotional moment for them, I'm sure, and also for you. What was going through your head at that point? Just looking into my coach's eyes as I'm crutching out there, and then, you know, my teammates all looking at me when I'm um, just walking back out there and just seeing a look in their faces and looking in their eyes. It, it, it was a different feeling that I haven't felt before, and, um, you know, it hurt. A lot of players in your situation, you know, the NFL, uh, you know, in your sights, might have opted out of that game. What what made it important for you to play in that game? And, and did you have any regrets uh, based on the way it went? Absolutely not. I did not have any regrets. Um, I put my heart and soul into, the, into this team. Um, we went into a room every Wednesday, you know, talking about whatever we needed to talk about. It was called, we called it Get Real Wednesday. It wasn't even mm. football. Coaches, coaches were not in there. It was our strength coach, Coach Wilson Love. And, you know, it started with me every single time just talking just because not only because it was right for the leader to talk and the leader of the team to talk first, but it just felt wrong if I didn't, you know, and I think me talking first and people understanding my teammates understanding that, that I wasn't completely comfortable with being in that position. And then it just got easier. It made them get out of their comfort zone and, you know, and grow. But that is really the reason why I couldn't just, nah, I'm not going to play in this game. You know, it's, it's, I'm going to be selfish. Here. Like, I just felt like it was a selfish thing to do because I, you know, I, I, I wasn't in this position by myself. You know, I, I couldn't have done it without them. These get real Wednesdays and, and the camaraderie and everything that happened at Ole Miss, the, you know, obviously being with Lane Kiffin for a few years as well. I mean, how did, how did that growth happen the most? I mean, was it, Stuff like that you're talking about? Were there other instances where you felt like, uh, you know, you maybe uh, experienced some real growth? I mean, I remember the, uh, it, was eight, it was August 18th. It was August 18th. Um, you know, I was in a depression my sophomore year of college. And, you know, I just didn't understand why. You know, I was still, you know, training. and just, It just felt like I was going through the motion, but it just felt like I was being stagnant. You know, there was no purpose as to what I was doing. Mm. And I just remember, uh, I'm real. Like I, was, I just remember crying on my on the couch before my flight going home, and just wondering why, like why the heck I'm feeling like this. When I had that mindset of not taking no as an answer, that's when my whole work ethic changed. That's when Glenn Kiffin came, Jeff Leggy came, and I was just in the middle of, you know, of just grinding. I changed my mindset to see how far I could take it and, it and it changed me as a person completely. Do you feel confident that even though it is a daily grind that you have to make sure you're, you're taking care of yourself, that, you know, you're, you're in a good place where you can lead an NFL franchise, where you can, tr you know, have a team trust you to the point where they can spend a first round draft pick on you. Absolutely. You know, it, you know I'm not going to say that life's easy every single day, but you know, it, it has its trials and tribulations, but I mean, you know, having your advices, having and understanding yourself and, and know where, where you're at mentally and know how to prevent, you know, certain emotions and just being able to control them. As we said earlier, uh, you're partnering with Panini America for autographs and trading cards. Fans can follow Matt's journey to the NFL draft on all their social channels at Panini America as part of the popular Panini Road to the Raider Rookies content series. So, you know, were you a trading card guy growing up? And uh, was this something that, that immediately you gravitated to when, the, when they approached you? Uh, I used to collect them when I, was, when I was maybe elementary school just because my dad had a bunch of, a bunch of collect. Uh, I think he had, um, Michael, or Kobe, he, had a, he had three Kobe Bryant rookie cards. Wow. And, yeah, he's got a – he used to have a couple, but my older brothers when they were babies, they ruined them. He opened, they opened the boxes and he, he was not happy about it. But I used to collect them because it was uh, it was something that my dad did. And, I, and regardless of what the card was, I was just happy that I got the cards. Next time we'll see Matt Corral will be at the NFL Combine. Good luck to you and all your preparations. And uh, hope uh, hope you enjoy Super Bowl Sunday and uh, the NFL Draft this year. Thank you, sir. Thank you guys for having me. Appreciate it.